Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be part three of the uh, SEO Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO video series. And this one s starts with chapter four. Now, chapter four is probably uh, one of the most important chapters, I think, in the whole document. And uh, so you should really look at it very carefully. This first, uh, this part three video is just going to cover uh, two concepts and then uh, a, another video Part four will cover the uh, third major area of uh, information for this chapter. So let's take a look. So what, uh, what this chapter is about is the basics of search engine uh, friendly design and development. In other words, what you can do on your website to make sure the search engines can find the information and know uh, what it's about very quickly. And the first major concept that it brings up is this, indexable content. What it means by that is, what is the kind of information that the search engine can read on your website? And it turns out it can read only HTML text format. That's what it needs in order to determine what is on your site. And uh, it cannot read images or flash files or Java applets or other non-text content type of information. It needs it to be in HTML text. So it comes down here and says images in GIF, JPEG, and PNG uh, cannot be read. They need to be assigned alt attributes. In other words, you have to, in the alt tag, put in writing what that image is about. Uh, you can also use cascading style sheets to, uh, to explain what, uh, what the, an image is about. Uh, Flash and Java uh, can be replaced in text on the page. In other words, anytime you have any kind of visual information, and for that matter, video and audio, same thing, you want to either, in the case of video audio, you might want to have transcripts, but in all cases, you have to have some form of HTML text to explain what it is. And so the next part here is they show examples of a website uh, that is set up with uh, HTML te text. On the left-hand side is what uh, you would see as a user. On the right-hand side is what the uh, search engine sees, and it, as you can see, it's all text data. And then it shows you an example of a website that's set up in Flash, and obviously you can see what's, what's there, but on the right-hand side, you can see it's blank. The search engine has no clue what that site is about, and that's what you want to avoid. The next concept that it uh, deals with is crawlable link structures. Search engines uh, follow links. It's, links are the streets that the search engines travel on in order to find out what's on your website. And so you want to have a link structure that is logical and that is clear so that uh, in this particular image, you've got a home page connecting to two, two, uh, two other web pages. It's linked to them, but it's not linked to the other two behind it. Well, the search engine won't know those other two exist. So you want uh, to make sure that your website has a link structure that is clear from day one. On a WordPress blog, if you set up an XML sitemap uh, and uh, the way permalinks are designed on a WordPress blog, you can, you can have that link structure set up very easily and very clearly. Uh, it also shows how a web, uh, a, 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 an anchor text or a link is designed, and it explains how the, H, the A href attribute is structured so that uh, you can build your anchor text properly. And in this case, uh, in, this, in this page, this part of the page, it explains how to do that. And then uh, the next page, it, it's going to give you a, a list of the types of information that the, the, uh, the, the search engine cannot deal with. And then uh, so you have a clear understanding. Uh, it cannot deal with anything that's in, in, input into forms. So when you do, when, you know, you're filling out different forms like uh, name and, and email address, et cetera, any kind of form, it's not going to be able to read that data. It does not read JavaScript. Uh, it explains how you can set up robot.txt files to tell the search engines if you want a page to be uh, crawled or not. You set up, they are, the robots.txt will tell the search engines what pages not to crawl. Uh, search engines don't like iframes. They don't like any form of cloaking. Uh, and what else? They can't read Java, Flash, and, and other plugins. So you, you have to pay attention here to see what the search engines can read and what they can't. There's a page here that explains the, the attribute about nofollow. Nofollow is a way of uh, structuring uh, your links so that any of your quality score, any of your juice does not get passed on to the site that is connecting to you. So uh, if they decide to link to you, you will not be passing on back to them any of your uh, 
quality score. You may, you, a lot of people want to do that because they get spammed a lot and they don't want to have a, a connection to another site that may be uh, considered to be negative by Google because if you do link to spammy sites, Google will penalize you and so will the other search engines. So the, the relative nofollow allows you to set that up. And then in the next page, it shows you under the old system how you could still have some of your juice going through to other sites uh, depending on who had no follow, but ha when you do use no follow, it will shut off all of your juice going to any other site uh, that's that's uh, that chooses to try to link to you. If as soon as you set on no follow, in other words, you turn off the spigot, and that's really the the the. the the crux of the first half of this chapter. The next video will be about keywords and how important they are in uh, understanding how they're used by the search engines and how you can set up for it. So that's it. That's the end of part three for the SEO Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO. Hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Polan at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.